Feel the hips nice and grounded on the earth. Spine nice and long. And then just allow your breath to deepen. Nice, deep, smooth inhales and exhales. And after your next exhale, bring your hands down by your side with your palms facing up. So for pep in your step, we're going to turn the palms up, exhale deeply, and then inhale, draw the arms up as you scoop energy up from the earth. Inhale, fingertips touch. And now, this is important, turn your palms out, reach, 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 and exhale anything that does not serve your practice right now. Fingertips tap down, inhale energy from the earth. And as you exhale, release. And one more time. Inhale, reach up as your hips ground down. So we're reaching through the side body. Yep, shoulders are soft. And then exhale, release. All right, let's start waking up the spine with some cats and cows, hands to the knees. Arch and look up. This whole movement starts at the base of the spine and goes up to the top of the spine. Round forward in your cat. Arch into the cow. And round into the cat. And two more times. Just move on your own breath. Let your front of the shoulders start to open. And the next time you're gazing towards your lap, just hold here. Inhale and exhale. And then come on up to seated. Okay, we're gonna bring the hands to heart center, lean back, lift the feet, and just change the cross of your ankles just to keep the mind going, right? We're changing the cross of the ankles, bring a little awareness to the body. So we're gonna move the spine um, side to side now. Inhale your arms overhead, ground through the hips, clasp your fingers, and turn your palms up toward the sky. Really um, drop your shoulders here, keep them away from the ears, and then ground your right hip as you tilt oh, to the left. And then switch sides, grounding the left hip as you tilt to the right. And come up and switch. And come up and switch. And one more time each side. Okay, now as you unclasp your fingers, bring your hands behind you and clasp your hands. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Look up. So we're heart opening for energy. Exhale, release your hands forward. Press away. So we're putting the spine back in that um, cat position. Press away, palms are facing out. Inhale, arms up, palms face the sky. Exhale, clasp the hands. Open up, look up. Exhale, hands forward, palms press away. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, clasp. Inhale, just a nice morning, open up. And exhale, clasp and press away. Now bring your hands to heart center. Okay. And um, we're going to lift one foot and then the other. The core is engaged. Uncross the ankles. And with lots of intention and lots of control, straighten the legs and sit up. Okay? 
So we're going to do rock the baby now. The left leg is straight, left foot is flexed, toes are pointing up, knee is pointing up. Take your right foot in your left hand. So we're opening the hip now. Right foot in the left hand, right knee in the right hand. And we're moving from the hip. Side to side, the torso is not rocking good. All right, now come back to center. Flex your right foot, just sit up really tall and just hold here for a second. Then bring your right ankle above your left knee. It's on the left thigh here. Okay, support yourself with your hands as you start to bring your left leg in. So we're in a, an open seated pigeon. We're not all closed up yet. We're in more of an open seated pigeon here. Right foot is flexed, right foot to the left, and then bring the right leg to the right. Trying to keep the torso still, hands supporting, because our focus is on the hip. And the next time your right foot is coming to the left, let it come all the way to the left. Try and ground your right hip back down to the earth here. Hold on to your right knee with your left hand. Inhale, right arm up and over. And with a nice straight spine, exhale, twist. We're going to bring it back around, right arm back around. Because we haven't done any twisting yet, so we're going to warm up first. Right arm comes back, twist. Bring it back forward. Right arm back and twist. Can you feel the outer part of your right leg as you twist now? Right, we're opening up that. Okay, bring the right arm back around. And this time as we twist back, now we're going to hold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, without tugging on your right knee, just deepen your twist. Inhale and exhale, turn your gaze toward your right shoulder. And then keeping the body right where it is, turn your gaze toward your left shoulder. Turn your gaze back to the right. And then center, release as you come back into that pigeon. You, make sure you flex your right foot again. Okay, and this time, if you want to tighten it up, if that right hip will allow, then you bring your hips and your heel closer together. Make sense? Seated pigeon. Okay, hips and heel are as close together as that right hip will permit. And then we're going to start to extend the left leg, uncross, and shake the legs out. Okay, give your legs a nice little shake. Ready, we'll do that on the other side. So the legs are forward, right foot is flexed, right toes are pointing straight up. We're going rock the baby on the other side, left foot in the right hand, sit up nice and tall and rock side to side. Getting that hip nice and open. And then pause at center and just hold here. Inhale and exhale. Keeping the left foot flexed now, bring it to your thigh, hands down. Nice open pigeon here. Seated pigeon. And then take your uh, left foot to the right and your left leg over to the left. So we're going side to side, still keeping that upper body still, still, still. And then allow your left foot to come all the way over to the right. Bring your left hip back down in case it traveled up so the hips are nice and square. Right hand to the left knee. Inhale, and bring the left arm back, twist to the left. So 
So now we're going to take it forward and back a few times. Bring it forward and back, warming up our twist here. Forward and back. And noticing that nice stretch in the outer left leg. All right, and the next time you go back, you're holding here, hold, sit up nice and tall, inhale, not tugging on the knee, twisting from the waist, gaze toward your left shoulder, and then turn back toward your right shoulder, head only, back to the left, come center now and bring it up, your left foot is flexed and you take your pigeon, bringing the heel and the hip as close together as your left hip will permit right now. Inhale and exhale. There's still plenty to go, plenty to do with the hips, so we just want to see where everything is right now after that rock the baby opening. Take a nice deep breath, and then extend your legs and give them a crazy shake. Okay, so we've moved our spine. We've started to open up the hips a bit, okay? Um, we're, we've opened the front of the shoulders to get some energy. And what do you think should come next for energy? Yes, the core, okay? So let's go ahead and um, do some core work. So we're gonna uh, sit at the center of the mat and roll down, roll down, roll down. Okay, we've been doing dead bug to honor the cicadas, so let's do something else, okay? Um, we'll continue with hip opening with the water wheel and turn that into our core work this morning. So hands down by your side. Bring the right knee in, point up, flex your right foot, and bring the leg straight down. The heel is just off the mat. You can feel this is some core work, it's not a ton, but there's some going on. Knee in, point up, flex down. Knee in, point up, flex down. One more. Knee in, point up, flex down. Knee in and hold, and we're going to reverse it. So flex your right foot, flex out, point up, knee in. Flex out. Point up, knee in, two more, out, up and in, out, up and in, hug your right knee in, inhale and exhale. And then bring your left knee in, switch sides, right foot to the mat, hug your left knee in for a moment, hands down by your side, knee in. In, point up, flex down. Knee in, point up, flex down. If you don't think anything's happening, put your left hand just to the left of your belly button and you'll feel your muscle move. One more. Knee in, point up, flex down. Bring the knee in. Then we're going to flex the left foot and reverse the water wheel. Flex out. Point up, knee in, out, up and in, take it out, up and in, and out, up and hold your left knee in. Inhale and exhale, bring your right knee in and rock a little from side to side, so a little hip opening there and a little core awakening. Now we're going to sit on the hands and do a double water wheel. Both knees in, toes point up, legs up. Flex the feet, take it down. Don't do anything that bothers your back. If this is just too much on your spine, go back to single leg. Here we go. Knees in, point up, flex down. You would do two right and two left. In, up, and down. Two more, in, up, and down. One more, in, up, and down. Knees 
in. All right, see how the spine feels? We're gonna try it double leg and then do it four times. Okay, flex out, point up, knee in. All right, here we go, four times, double leg or two right, two left. Flex out, point up, knee in. Flex out, point up, knees in. Two more, out, up, and in. One more, out, up, and in. All right, double knee squeeze here, rock from side to side. Inhale and exhale. Glad you're alive, right? Here we go. We're gonna do the obliques now, so bring both feet down. Let your legs open and close gently like butterflies here. Butterfly wings here. All right, so we're going to take the legs straight up. The feet are touching, legs are touching, palms are touching here, arms are straight up. There's a grapefruit in between your neck and your chin, uh, your neck and your chin, what am I saying? Your chin and your chest. As you roll up, the neck stays straight here, so we're not tucking the chin. Okay, we're going to take both hands out to the right, okay? So we're here, and then we're going to take the left leg down and up. Take it down and up. If this is aggravating you, bend your left knee down and up. Take it down and up. A few more. Down and up. Good control. Down and up. And down and up. Take it down. Hold here just for fun. Open your arms. Oh, that was fun. And bring them back. And then your left leg comes up. Knees in. Whew. And side to side. All right, here we go. Legs are up once again. Palms are touching. Shoulders and head roll up. Hands out to the left. Right leg down and up. Take it down and up. Nice. Down and up. Take it down and up. Just a few more. Down and up. Take it down and up, take it down, and up. Now down and hold, hold, extend, open the arms, bring the hands back together, right leg up, take it center, knees in, and rock side to side. Whew. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're gonna come to tabletop, so you could either roll off to the side or get some momentum going, cross at the ankles, roll up and over the knees, and come to tabletop that way. Okay, everybody good here? Yes. All right, good. So, wrists are under the shoulders, right? Knees are right under the hips here. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna tuck the toes and do a few cats and cows from here lifting the knees. So arch your back and look up. Okay, here's that nice sway back of the cow, heart is open, and then exhale, roll forward, round forward into the cat, and lift your knees a couple of inches. Bring the knees down, and come into the cow. As you roll into your cat, lift your knees. Take it down and up a couple more times. Cow, lifting knees for cat. One more cow, lifting knees for cat. And then bring the knees back down. Big toes together, knees wide apart. Hips are nice and juicy, child's pose here. Forehead is supported, arms are long. Inhale and exhale. All right, find your way 
to downward facing dog from here. Feet are hip width distance. Body's in a V, head is right in between the upper arms, in line with the upper arms. And then we're going to very intentionally bend one knee and then the other, really thinking about those ankles as you press the heel down. And then as you come up and press the heel down, really think about those ankles, ankles. Massaging the foot. All right, now take both heels toward the mat, bend your knees, lift your heels, okay? And then as you straighten, keep the heels lifted, now take both heels down to the mat. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs here. Inhale and exhale. And then take a nice little walking meditation, bring your feet to your hands. And when you get to your hands, bring your hands to your thighs, just take a half lift, nice little forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center, and release. Okay, let's shake it out. We're going to do just a little ankle work, so holding on to something, if you have a chair, bring it out. And the reason we're using the chair is so that we can just focus on strengthening the ankles without worrying about losing our balance. So just something you can gently hold on to here, okay? The feet are um, straight ahead, hip width distance apart. And the balls of your feet are going to stay even. So we're not pronating or supinating the feet, okay? I'm not sure which is which, but that's what it's called, Pro pronation and supination. I always forget which one is in and which one is out. So let's just hold on gently and raise up to the balls of the feet and make sure the balls of the feet are still even. And then slowly come down. All right, so that's what we want. We're going to keep the feet hip width distance apart, toes facing forward, Lift the heels. Now, as you bring your heels down, resist. Resist like there's something under there that's keeping the heels from coming down. And we're going to do that again. Raise. Really lift the heels high, high, high. And slowly, slowly, slowly. So the ankles are super important. They're going to really help you um, increase the speed of your walking, okay? They're, they're one of the strongest muscles, if not the strongest in your body. Bring it up and heels down. You really want the balls of your feet to stay nice and uh, square on the mat, on the earth there. Bring it up and slowly down. Okay, now we're gonna do single leg so go ahead and just raise one leg, doesn't matter which, whichever is more convenient for you right now, and lift your other heel and slowly bring it down. Yeah, here's where the balance becomes an issue. Lift and slowly down, lift and slowly down. One more, lift and slowly down, other side. Other leg stays down. This knee comes up just to get your um, foot out of the way. Lift and slowly down. Yeah, lift and slowly down. Lift and slowly down. And one more, lift and slowly down and release. All right, let's shake everything out, okay? And we're just gonna do a little, um, hip loosener here, so a little hip cleaner it's called. Take your um, outside leg, because you're gonna need some space, bring the knee across and the leg back. Knee across and the leg back. Cross and back. Cross and back. Yeah, just a couple more times.
All right, and bring that foot down and then either turn around if you're um, at the wall or your windowsill or wherever you are, or just move your chair to the other side. And we're going to take the other leg, outside leg, across and back. Outside leg because we need the space. Across and back. And just two more times. All right, let's go ahead and release. And if you have a chair, put it out of the way or just come back to your the center of your mat from wherever you are. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna find super mountain pose here. The feet are really, really grounded. Shoulders are back and down. Inhale and exhale. All right, getting a little chair going now with the feet hip width distance apart, really strengthening the legs. Sit the hips back, tuck the tailbone, bring the arms to shoulder height. We're going to tuck a little more, toes can wiggle, arms overhead, inhale. Let's warm up the chair, so stand tall, inhale, exhale, float your arms down, bend the knees and hips, and come back into chair. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, float down. Inhale to chair. One more. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, float down. Inhale to chair. Sit it deep. Okay. And then stand tall and release. We're gonna use those ankles a little bit in the chair now. So sit back, come into your chair, raise your right ankle and press down, raise your left ankle and press down. Fix your gaze, cause now we're raising both ankles. Balance challenge, balls of the feet are still nice and flat. Nice and press down. One more time, right and left, double heel lift, and press down, nice, stand tall, inhale, and as you exhale, just bring your hands to your hips here. So your hands are on your hips, we're gonna do a standing camel, the feet are still hip width distance apart. Inhale, and as you exhale, draw your elbows toward each other as you look up. Standing camel and release. We're gonna do that a couple more times. You can, if you feel like you uh, wanna do a deeper back bend, let your hands come to your legs with your, instead of sitting on your hips, let them come to the back of your legs. That way they can slide down, okay? So inhale, either way, hands here or hands here. Inhale, shoulder blades together. Now as you look up, if your hands are free, they can slide down your legs into a deeper back bend. You gently look up. Standing camel and release, shake it out. And as we usually do, whichever one of those you like better, do one more time, okay? So either plant your hands or let your hands be free. Ready? Exhale. Inhale, look up, standing camel. Heart, think heart opening energy. And exhale, Whew. So that was big for the front of the shoulders. Let's um, go ahead and counter pose that. Inhale the arms out. Exhale your right hand to your left shoulder, left hand to your right shoulder. Okay, the legs and hips are nice and warm. We're just going to roll the shoulders forward, tuck the chin. This is all about the shoulders. We're not bending forward. And bring it back, open. Left hand to right shoulder, right hand to left shoulder. Counter pose forward. Oh, and release, shake it out. All right, we should be ready for some uh, sun salutations now, yes?
Yes. Good to go, top of the mat. All right. Inhale and exhale from the top of the mat. We'll add some arm movements before, um, you know, before we fold, okay? <sighs> Take a mountain pose. Feel your energy moving through. Feel how your feet are just nice and grounded and all four corners, even on the mat, and then they're really grounding into the earth while your upper body is lifting. So you're so tall, taller than you were just 20 minutes ago. Inhale, float the arms overhead. As you exhale, arms extend, twist to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, elbows to waist as you look up. Inhale, center, and swan dive. So the legs are straight. We've been working a lot on them. We can keep them straight. Hands to the thighs, hips back, we half lift. Hands down, and we're gonna come back into a nice, strong plank. So just step back into plank, knees up or down, but your plank is strong. Inhale and exhale. All right, so from this plank, we're going to chaturanga down. Oh, that one's nice. Chaturanga down. Good. Inhale and exhale. And just do a little baby cobra. Shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. Look up. Not much help from the hands here, right? And release. Okay, let's practice a power lift into downward facing dog. Hands are under the shoulders. Unless you do, um, unless you want to do this with your knees up, we'll keep the knees down. Okay, so hands under the shoulders, knees stay on the mat, gaze towards your mat, and with a nice straight spine, press halfway up. So we're in a half knee down plank, press the rest of the way up. We're in a nice knee down plank here, tuck your toes and lift into downward facing dog. And adjust your stance for downward facing dog. Fingers are spread wide. Okay, now go ahead and take your right leg up. Right leg is high. And tap your right foot to your left heel. Bring the right leg up. Tap your right foot to your left heel. Bring the right leg up. Tap your right foot to your left heel. Bring the right leg up. And go ahead and take a big step forward. So come onto the ball, the ball of your left foot right? And then take a giant step forward with your right foot. Whatever giant is for you right now, walk the rest of the way to the top of your mat. Take a half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. You're back at the top of your mat, feet are hip width distance. Arms down by your side. Same thing, other side, float the arms up, inhale. Exhale, open arms, twist to one side. Inhale, center, open arms, twist to the other side. Inhale, center, elbows to waist, look up. Inhale, center, swan dive. Yep. Hands to the thighs, half lift. Hands down and Find your way to your plank. Nice, strong plank. Okay. Inhale and exhale in this plank. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. And then we chaturanga, elbows toward the back. Lots of control here, right? We've, we're using those arms. Okay. Point the toes. Now we're going to do take the cobra a little deeper. So slide your hands back by your ribs. You'll use your hands a little more here. Shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. Pressing into the hands. Look up. Arms are not straight. That would be the up dog. But we're in a deeper cobra. And release. 
Let's do a little spinal release here. Make a pillow with your hands. Bend your knees. Let your legs move from side to side. Bring your feet down, and if you like the power lift, I'll talk you through that. If you would prefer to just go table to down dog, do that. Hands under the shoulders, gaze towards your mat, knees stay down, press halfway up. If you're in a half knee down plank, arms straighten, tuck the toes and lift. Adjust your stance for downward facing dog. Fingers are spread wide. Inhale and exhale. Now we take the left leg up. Tap the left toes to the right ankle and up. Left toes to the right ankle and up. Left to right and up. One more left to right and up. Hold the leg up. Lift high onto your right foot. Draw your left knee in. We're just working to get that left foot as far forward as it's willing to go. Go ahead, big step forward. Where is it? There it is. And then meet it with your right foot and find your way to the top of your mat. As you take a half lift, forward fold and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center and release. All right, let's shake it out. Okay, you guys have been doing uh, plenty of work, right? You feel like you've been working hard? Yes. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and use um, our balance and then we'll move into some softer poses. So the feet are going to be hip width distance apart. Nice familiar pose, sun and moon. Okay. The feet are big, right? Toes are spread wide. Mind is calm. We inhale through the nose. <sighs> Exhale through the mouth. Find a spot that isn't moving. Nice steady gaze. Okay. We'll start with hands to hips. Right heel lifts. And bring the right knee up. Just checking balance this morning on the right. And bring it down. Check balance on the left. We're just observing, we're not judging, right? We're just saying, okay, the right side's working this way, the left side's working this way. And bring it down. Now we're gonna bring the right knee up and the left arm up. So go ahead and bring your hands down by your side. Right knee, left arm coming into sun and moon. Gaze is steady. Nice familiar pose here. Left foot is grounding into the earth. Left arm is lifting nice and long through the whole left side. Nice and release. And try it on with the left knee. Right foot grounds, left knee up, right arm up. Really getting tall and long on the right side. The left fingertips are pressing toward the earth and release nice beautiful sun and moon one more time on each side so just go for it count to eight while you're there so nice slow eight count on each side Whenever you're done, come back to Mountain Pose. Feel your feet connected to the earth, even sinking into the earth, and feel your balance. Feel your breath moving around, all that energy. Inhale and exhale. All right, so the feet are ready for that nice walk, nice peppy walk. The hips are ready for that nice smooth glide, right? All right, and when we walk, we, we also let, like the arms to move freely. 
So we've worked the shoulders too, forward and back. Let's take the legs wide now. Toes turn out. Okay, we're gonna take the arms up to five-pointed star and then come into a sunflower, okay? We're cooling things down now. So knees out, float forward, cross your right arm in front of your left and come up. Knees out, float down, cross your left arm in front of your right and come up. And just keep going. The reason to switch arms is for the shoulders, right? So they get some equal amounts of release. Keep it slow. I know you're feeling the inner thighs too. Notice your inner thighs as you come down. And the next time you come down that you have your right arm in front of your left, take opposite hand to opposite elbow, let your head hang and just Move from side to side. Let your head nod yes and no. You're in ragdoll moving around. Come back to center as you straighten your legs. Let your forearms melt toward the earth. Release your hands. Bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up. Come the rest of the way up. Ooh, nice and slow so you don't get dizzy. Arms overhead. Five-pointed star. Knees out. Left arm crosses in front of right. We stay here and then ragdoll it out. Include the head. Straighten your legs. Let your forearms melt toward the mat here. Inhale and exhale. Hands to the hips. Come halfway up. Come the rest of the way up. All right. So we're going to turn the right toes forward, left toes in at an angle, and come into our warrior two. The right knee is over the right ankle, shoulders are over the hips. Warrior two here. Inhale and exhale. Moving in and out of warrior two. So turn your shoulder up, shoulders, your palms face up. Inhale the arms up overhead as you look forward. And then exhale back to warrior two. Your palms are facing the earth. Palms up, inhale up, face forward. Palms out. Exhale, gaze past your right fingertips. Inhale up, one more time. And exhale, coming into warrior two. Inhale and exhale here. All right, we're gonna bring the arms overhead and switch to warrior two on the left. Left knee is bent over the ankle, right foot's at an angle. Arms are out the back line, yes, beautiful. Gaze past your left fingertips. Warrior two. Inhale as you straighten your left leg, arms overhead, look forward. Exhale, descend back into warrior two. Gaze toward the left. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, descend, warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two, and this time we're holding. Inhale and exhale. Nice and steady and calm. Lower half of the body is grounded. Shoulders are down. Inhale the arms overhead, all 10 toes forward. Palms are forward, and we're gonna reach, reach, reach. Straight leg, forward fold, bring the hands down. Toes are facing forward now. You're feeling that nice stretch in the back of your legs here. Inhale and exhale. If your hands are on the mat, turn your fingertips 
toward the back and walk your hands back a little more. If your hands are not touching the mat, then just hold on to your legs. If your hands are back, walk them forward. Everybody hands to hips. Come halfway up and come the rest of the way up. We're gonna heel toe the feet together and shake it out. Ooh, shake out those legs. All right, come to the top of the mat, find mountain pose. Everybody, how's everybody doing? Okay, all right. Mountain pose, inhale and exhale. Shoulders back and down, feet are grounded. Just let your mind go through the body, feel the energy centers open, feel your balance, and feel anything that might need to wiggle around before we come down. Now we're gonna float the arms up, inhale, straight leg swan dive. So reach forward, hands down. They're either going to touch the mat or your legs. You're in a straight leg forward fold, backs of the legs are releasing. Bending the knees, hands to the thighs, hips back, look up, half lift, heart is open here, shoulders are back, release. And we're gonna step back to a downward facing dog. Nice down dog here. If you're ready for table, do table. Big toes together. If you're in down dog, big toes are together. Okay? And knees to one side, hips to the other, and switch. If you're in table, your hips rock from right to left. Little slalom here from down dog, moving one side to the other. Come back to center, bend the knees, sit off to the side, and find your seated mountain pose. Flex the feet, inhaling and exhaling. Okay, we're gonna do the Janusarsasana because the legs and hips are really open now. So that's where the left leg is long, toes are pointing up, knees pointing up, your right foot comes to the inside of your left thigh, face over your left leg here, arms long overhead, folding from the hips, reach, 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 long arms, cross at the wrists and hold on to your left leg. Gaze towards your toes here, your, the toes of your left foot, and breathe. And then release, uncross your wrists, bring your arms long and up overhead. Hands down by your side, take your right knee up, one hands with distance between your right foot and your left thigh. The left leg is still, the left foot is still flexed. Toes are pointing up. Left knee is pointing up. Left hand to the right knee. Right arm comes up and back. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. Not using the left hand, we're just twisting. So a nice spinal twist here and release. Now we're gonna change this up. Take your right foot to the outside of your left leg. Square your hips. Left hand to the right knee, right arm up and back, and with a long spine, twist. Now, with the knee, with the foot off to the left here, maybe the left arm will come up and that left elbow goes outside the right knee. If it doesn't want to, just stay here. Turn your gaze toward your right shoulder. And release. Take your right leg forward. Give your legs a crazy shake. And we'll do it on the other side. 
Okay, so we're going to flex the right foot, toes up, knee points up, left foot to the right thigh, turn to face your right leg, arms overhead, fold forward from the hip creases, cross at the wrists, and hold on to your right leg, keeping your gaze to your right toes. Just breathe. Just notice what parts of the body you're feeling here. That's very individual, so just notice. Uncross your wrists and with arms long, reach up, hands down. Left knee comes up. There's space in between your left foot and your right thigh. Right hand to the left knee, up and left hand back lengthening through the spine, using the spine for the twist, not the right hand, twist to the left. Right foot stays flexed, your gaze is towards your left shoulder. And then bring it back around. Take your left foot outside of your right leg, right hand back to the knee, Left arm up and back, right foot is still flexed. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, twist. And then perhaps that right elbow comes outside the knee. It, it may not, it might, your hand might stay right where it is. And then gently untwist, uncross your legs, both legs forward, give them a crazy shake. And we're going to roll down. So you want to be on a spot on your mat where your head and shoulders will be on the mat when you roll down. Arms forward, take it down. Nice long stretch, legs forward, arms overhead, inhale, exhale, draw the knees in, rock from side to side. All right, come back to center. Point and flex those ankles. They're stronger, peppier now. Rotate one direction and the other. Oh, just feel your hips now. Go ahead and just hug your knees in. Feel the hips. Bring your feet down. Knees are bent, arms are by your side and open and close the hands, wiggle the fingers. Rotate the wrists, one direction and the other. Okay, hands down by your side now and just let your head gently rock to the right and to the left. Nice and gentle. Come back to center. One big lion's breath so we don't get any wrinkles. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And as you exhale, stick your tongue out, open your eyes wide. <sighs> and release. Find your most comfortable final relaxation position for today. And once you're there, nice and relaxed, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. One more, inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, melt onto the earth. Let the earth support you. Let go of all effort, moving into final relaxation.
slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Bring movement back to your body, wiggle fingers and toes. And on your next inhale, stretch nice and long. Exhaling, draw your knees in. And come over to a side, take a breath here. Extend your top leg long and come back to a nice easy seat. Hands to heart center. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste. Namaste. All right. Any Thanks so much. Oh.